Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and I'm here to review some stuff. Uh, today I'm going to read the song She's Thunderstorms by Arctic Monkeys. So, hey, I, I listened to um, Dance a Little Liar. I think that was what it's called. Dance a Little Liar by them uh, a while back. And since then, I've had an inpouring of wonderful suggestions for more Arctic Monkeys. So, hey, I'm happy to oblige. Uh, so here we are listening to some Arctic Monkeys, and this comes as a request. So as always, if you would like to request something, just leave a comment down below, and I'll get to it eventually. There is a rhyme or reason, and or reason, to how I pick what song I review. Um, just know that if you um, requested a song like three months ago, I'm still going to get to it. And if you requested a song last week, I'm you know I'm going to get to it. But the, the song from last week may come before the song from three months ago. You know, there's a whole system that I have. It's not worth explaining. It's it's all the madness of, of whatever comes on up there. Uh, but just know, I'm getting to as many requests as I can every day. Please keep the requests coming. Anyway, this is She's Thunderstorms by Arctic Monkeys. And, uh, you know, yeah, that was about it. I, I was going to say, this is a very lovely uh, thing to have written next to me. But, you know. Uh, I ain't too worried about it. All right. She's thunderstorms lying out. Up against the wall, she's thunderstorm.
Yeah. That was a fun one. I, I liked that one a lot. Uh, much much different than the last song I heard by them, um, Dance a Little Liar. Like that, man, it was, it was a huge difference to me. Uh, whereas the last one was very like uh, sludgy and just like swampy and, and had, had that style to it. This one reminded me more of like a, a classic like pop rock song um, that you'd hear like in a diner somewhere, right? Um, while still being its own thing, which I really enjoyed. Man, this one was really good. I like this one a lot. Um, so anyway, let's break it down like we always do. Let's start with those lyrics. So looking at the lyrics... Did I have them pulled up? Uh, I didn't pull them up all the way. Here we go. So the lyrics. She's thunderstorms lying on her front up against the wall. She's thunderstorms. I've been I've been feeling foolish. You should try it. She came and sub- substituted the peace and quiet for acrobatic blood flow <laughs> concertina. Uh, interesting. Uh, concertina is a musical instrument a bit like an accordion. Oh, cool. Uh, cheating heartbeat rapid fire huh so you know thunderstorms are kind of chaotic um, high energy and I, I'm wondering if that's kind of how this girl is she's chaotic you know chaotic uh, chaotic neutral is what I'm getting from her so uh, I've been feeling foolish you should try it she came and substituted the peace and quiet for acrobatic blood flow concertina so it sounds to me like before his life was pretty normal average calm and then she came in and just like whoa let's party let's have fun let's be crazy you know Um, but then this part cheating heartbeat rapid fire Um, so yeah uh, this, this person says his heart is racing so fast that he's when he's with it that it's skipping beats. Okay, I can see that. So it sounds to me like this person really gets his blood going, man. She's a lot of fun. Uh, she's kind of flipped his life upside down. Um, so chorus, she's thunderstorms lying on her front up against the wall. She's thunderstorms. Here is your host. Sounds as if she's pretty close. When the heat starts growing horns, she's thunderstorms. She's been looped the looping around my mind. Her motorcycle boots give me this kind of acrobatic blood concertina, cheating heartbeat rapid fire. So she's just so cool. She's awesome. He is just so in love. Uh, you know, he, he can't help but just lo- absolutely love this person. This is a lovely song, uh, hopefully. Um, she's thunderstorms lying on her front up against the wall. She's thunderstorms in an unusual place when you're feeling far away. She does what the night does to the day. She's thunderstorms lying on her front up against the wall. She's thunderstorms, thunderstorms, thunderstorms. That's an interesting line there. In an unusual place when you're feeling far away, she does what the night does to the day so the night i guess technically ends the day right so she ends you or maybe she ends the relationship uh, that's kind of what i think is she's fun she's high energy she's fast paced and because of that you can't really keep her held down what i get from this is that basically this last part of the line like she's awesome she's cool i want her she's great she makes my heart skip a beat but because of how fun and free-spirited and crazy she is you know just like that she's gone so, uh, really a tragic way to end an otherwise beautiful song, but hey, you know, that's life sometimes. So, um, you know, really enjoyed this one lyrically. Uh, it was just a lot of fun, uh, and, and it's great to, to be able to write about someone like this, um, and just a great perspective here. So I give it two thumbs up lyrically. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think as far as instrumentation goes, um, I also really liked the style they brought here. Again, it sort of reminded me of like a 50s uh, pop rock type diner song, uh, while still maintaining a, a very much a freshness um, to it. You know, it didn't sound stale or dated or anything like that. It definitely sounds like it belongs in this era of music. So, um, really enjoyed the guitar throughout, um, sort of the faster pace mixed with the more uh, melodic, slower play. Uh, pace there. I really like the singer's voice. Uh, um, he sounds a little bit different here than he did on the last song I listened to, but still very much enjoyable. Um, and I just think it was a very is is an is a bop. As this is what I would use to describe a bop. As he is kind of like yeah, you know this is uh, this is cool. I was enjoying it. I was jamming out. I give it two thumbs up instrumentally and vocally as well. 
Um, and then as far as replay value goes, look, I enjoyed this one a lot. It is very catchy, very poppy in, in, in a sense, while still maintaining the, the, the guitars that I really like. And uh, I like the instrumentation. I feel like uh, I can't necessarily relate to it myself. I've never been through something like that particularly. But I think it's a very relatable th uh, theme, a relatable topic, and just a fun listen. So I think this definitely has its place in my rotation. Honestly, I can't wait to hear it again. This was a really good one. Probably going to go listen to it again once I cut this uh, video off. So uh, anyway, really enjoyed it there. Two thumbs up for replay value as well. Overall, very solid request, guys. Thank you so much for whoever requested this one. I can't wait to hear more from Arctic Monkeys uh, because so far the two songs I've heard are, are, I wouldn't say drastically different from each other, but still pretty different. Different enough for me to want to see what else this band can do stylistically. So anyway, really enjoyed it. Like I said, keep the request coming, please. Um, and with that being said, I actually do already have a bunch of Arctic Monkeys requests, so you'll definitely be seeing them again here in the future. Uh, so be on the lookout for that if you're a fan. Um, if you like the music, definitely go support the artists. Go listen to them wherever you can. One place you can definitely find some Arctic Monkeys is going to be in my Spotify playlist. It's got every single song I've listened to so far on this channel. It makes for a pretty weird afternoon of listening. Or, uh, you know, it's, it's like 140 songs now. It's a pretty uh, interesting day of listening. Um, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you can like and subscribe and comment. Uh, that's it for me, guys. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.